In this tutorial, I'd like to take a viewer request that I got to make a tutorial on how to rotate text or an object around a globe inside of Illustrator. So this is what I want to show you today. I have a globe here. It basically, it's a circle, but it's going to act like my globe. What I want to start off by doing is grab my text tool, take my text, and I'm going to type round, come around, round, round, and round. It should probably be around, but let's do this. And I'm going to scale down the box to just fit the text. Because what we're going to do works with symbols only. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my window. Come down to my symbols. I'm just going to drag this in here to create a new symbol. I'm going to create a new graphic symbol. I'm going to name this round text. Now you see we have our symbol here and I can go ahead and remove this and close down my symbols panel. In order to wrap this around, we must create something for it to wrap around. And I'm going to do that by going into my elliptical, mark, elliptical tool, ellipse tool. And I'm going to drag out a circle, holding down my shift key to get it proportional and at true circle. I'm going to position this kind of around the circle I already have. And when I'm done, I'm going to let go. So don't worry too much about fill color, but since we're going to use a 3D effect, which is called revolve, if I just apply it to this one, we're going to revolve this circle in a circle around itself. And that means we're going to get a donut shape. So I'm going to instead going to get my eraser tool and hold down the option key so I can erase in a block. And I'm going to make sure to erase so that I just have half a circle left here. And when I have half a circle left, I can go to effect, 3D and revolve. If I turn on the preview, you'll immediately see that it completes it getting kind of like a circle. Before we go ahead and apply the artwork here, I'm going to set the surface to no shading because we just want it to be, in this case, just solid black. Next, I'm going to go to map art. And this is where all the magic happens, so to speak. I'm going to create a symbol. And because we've created the symbol round text earlier, I'm just going to apply it. And we're going to get this. And we have the ability to map this around. Now, because you see a shape here, and this is because the circle or the revolved bit is rotated and the shape is rotated slightly. We have a side which is the night side, the back side. If I move it there, you see what I mean. It's the back. And I also have a front side here. So if I place it here, and you, if I have the preview turned on, you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to slightly increase the size here of the symbol. I can even rotate it slightly if I want, even though that was a bit of a mistake. There we go. We have the text kind of wrapping around now. So if I click OK, and if I click OK to this, you'll see that I have something that wraps around here. And if I go ahead and I can reshape the circle here and reposition this and bring it in and out, you're going to get a much more dramatic effect here and it's gonna really be different and since this is a live effect I can always go into my appearance panel which is also under window appearance and always double click 3d revolve map when I have this selected if I turn on the preview and then the map art I can go ahead and continue to work with this increase the size reposition that until I'm really and truly happy with the way it looks I think I'm going to be happy with this. I'm going to click OK and then maybe just go slightly larger on this circle here and move it slightly to the right so we really get a good wrapping around the fact. This is the basics on how I do when I wrap, say, a text or another symbol around, in this case, a circle to wrap it around a globe. 